Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, which there's a good chance that you are because my channel is brand spanking new, I forgot to turn my ring light on. Oops. Boom. That's better, hey? Um, okay, I'll start this over. Welcome, here. my name is Heidi and I am so glad to have you guys here. Um, today, I wanted to talk about uh, strapless bras. I want to talk about going strapless, how to wear strapless bras, how to wear strapless bras comfortably so you feel supported and secure and everything else. Um, especially, you know, in the summer and in the spring when we start, you know, going sleeveless or going, you know, like wearing like little tube tops or wearing things like, you know, shirts and tops where Bra straps can be visibly seen if you are wearing a regular bra, which I think is a total faux pas. I can't stand it, and I think it should be outlawed. I don't think it will be, um, and I'm not hating on anyone who does it because, believe me, I've done it in the past as well, but we do have options, especially us girls with larger chests. There are options. There are ways for us to, um, to wear strapless bras. They do make strapless bras in our size, and we just have to sometimes you know, use a little, you know, extra, use a little extra help um, when we can. There's a few things that I actually started doing years ago, like when I first started wearing um, tops that were strapless, which didn't happen until I was in my early 30s because I was like, I never would show my arms. I would never, you know, nothing until I was like in my early 30s. So I was kind of a late bloomer with all of that. But before I even like went to the store and bought a bandeau for the first time or even like new that that was even a thing. Um, I came up with a way after buying my first strapless bra and realizing the, the gaping that would happen, especially when it could get kind of like misshapen and then you'd have like this like shelf boob um, poking out of your shirt um, because you don't have the straps to hold it up. Um, it, it bothered me. I was like, well, how am I supposed to like, how am I supposed to wear this bra? Because I don't feel secure. I don't feel comfortable because I feel like, you know, it just looks dumb. Um, what am I supposed to do? So I came up with this like thing and I don't know, maybe, maybe other people do it too. Um, but, uh, these are pantyhose and what I did, um, and what I started doing is like in the winter, I constantly would wear, um, tights, um, opaque tights, which are a little bit thicker, um, more like secure, solid, um, and they even have tummy control, which is perfect for this hack. But um, all of my like old tights in the winter that, you know, would get like a run or would get like holes in them, I would cut the legs off of my tights. And suddenly I had like a homemade DIY, to DIY totally free homemade bandeau. Um, the way that this works, actually it works really, really well because not only does it, you wear it over your strapless bra, so that's what I do. It stretches, like you wouldn't believe, because this is meant to like fit over your ass, right? So it stretches like crazy, and the trick is when you, when you cut the legs off of your old tights, is to cut, like literally just cut the legs off, and then like kind of cut the crotch in half, because if you cut this thing too short, like you think, oh, I only need maybe this, this much room, well, you need it to stretch like totally over your boobs, but you also need enough fabric at the bottom because in order to keep this on and to keep it secure and snug is you've got to take this bit here that's been cut that has nothing, that it, it, it doesn't have the security of this top band. Um, you need to take this and you need to tuck it into your bra underneath and also around the back. Um, and I'm going to show you how this works um, with a couple different tops. Um, just because it's like super simple to do and you can like, I, I remember like the first time I did it, I had like, I don't know, I think like five or six or 10 different pairs of tights that I cut up. And at the time I was super huge into like colored tights. So I had like purple band, like bandos. I had gray, I had teal, I had like every color of the rainbow of like these like homemade like bandos, like score like it was just it was just so brilliant and I remember I was actually shopping one day and I was trying on 
I think I was trying on uh, tops in the summer. This is maybe like a year or two ago. And I was in the fitting room and I was trying on a strapless dress. And I remember like um, one of the sales ladies was like, oh my God, that looks really good. Like you, and you, like you even came with a strapless bra. Like what are you like? I can never wear strapless bras. And I'm like, oh, and I showed her what I did with like these tights that I was wearing over my bra. And she was like, oh my God, like what? Like, I've never heard of that. That's crazy. And I thought, really, is this that original concept? I mean, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I find it works amazing. And I mean, they sell really cute bandos and stuff. They sell, um, but you're spending so much money. I mean, I've got some, but like, for example, um, let me go grab it. Talk about being unprepared. Um, so this is one that I bought. And I believe I bought this from Pennington's like a couple years ago. I mean, there's some there's some strings missing and stuff um, or like strings hanging off of it. But I mean, this is like a simple, um, cute. It's like a lycra material. It's nice and stretchy. It works really well. I wear this too all the time. But I mean, you're spending like 20 bucks for something like this when you can like make it out of old pantyhose. Um, I wouldn't use like really sheer, sheer pantyhose, like the kind that you buy at the drugstore, um, because they're just too thin. They're too thin and flimsy and they won't, they won't work as well. But any of these like opaque tights that are like a good thicker material will work perfect, perfectly. Um, they just have the right amount of stretch, the right amount of everything. So, um, so that's what I wear over my strapless bras to keep them from giving me that shelf edge issue. Um, and the other thing that's really important is to actually invest in a really good strapless bra to begin with. Um, I love the convertible bras from Torrid. This is my absolute favorite one. Um, and I've had these, like I've got four of these. Um, I'm wearing one, one right now. And, um, and I have this one in two other pair, like one in like a cream and one in like a like a brown, I don't know, just cute. And I mean, the band is super sturdy and thick. And as you can see, like, okay, no joke, I have had this bra for over two years. So it's been through a lot of wear. It's It's been washed numerous times. Um, so it's been, it's been through the ringer. And this boning on the side is still straight. Like, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, like on this side as well, it's like a, it's a little bit bent on this side a little bit, but I mean, I can't complain for two years worth of, of wear out of this. The underwire hasn't popped out, nothing. So I highly recommend this bra. Um, if you are in the market for a really good strapless bra, Torrid does convertible bras so well. So, um, so yeah, so like convertible meaning like it has detachable straps. So you can actually wear this as a regular bra. I never do. I use these as my summer strapless bras. So, um, so that's the other thing is like get a get a really good strapless bra. Then either make your own bandeau, um, DIY your own bandeau out of your old opaque tights, um, or buy a bandeau um, and wear a bandeau um, over your bra because I guarantee you it's gonna stop. It's, it's gonna hold everything in. It's gonna give you the support that you need. To feel comfortable and to feel like you know nothing's going anywhere the other great thing that it does is when you wear your bra a lot of times you know in order to get the get get the bra sitting properly um you know you're wearing your the band of your bra a little bit lower on your back sometimes you can have like rolls and like you know like that back fat issue that we all deal with well that's what the bandeau is for because the bandeau covers more of that area so you actually get like a much smoother cleaner line um, when you wear a bandeau over your strapless bra and it just makes everything look better. So why don't we get into like the whole like demonstration part of this so that I can show you guys kind of like how it works, what it looks like um, on. And then um, I have like one other little trick that I want to show you as well. So I'll be right back. All right. So now I'm going to just like show you guys kind of what I mean by wearing a bandeau over your strapless bra and how it works. So I'm just wearing this like cute little tank that I like to wear in the summer all the time. It's got, it's kind of like, just like that all the way in the back. And then it's got like this, like spaghetti strap, like tiny little halter strap. So really it's just, you know, that's just really for show. 
it's just this like cheap little like jersey material but it's just so cute and I love it um, and I like to wear it a lot in the summer um, and of course something like this you don't want bra straps showing so as you can see if I turn to the side like there's no shelf boob going on everything is like super like just secure like I'm not I'm not worrying and then if you look the bandeau really covers like this whole area and then my bra covers that lower part of my back right so I mean you've got so much security with this um, method um, and it just I just feel comfortable like I feel as comfortable in this as I do if I was wearing a regular bra um, and that's what you need like you just want to you you want to feel secure you want to feel comfortable um, but I do want to show you one other thing because um, like I'm gonna show you the bandeau so if I so if you see like over the bra it's like it's a bandeau so it's like that straight line and I'm gonna show you guys the um, the pantyhose bandeau and something that I do to it to help especially if you're wearing a top with kind of like a sweetheart kind of neckline um, or like a, a dress or a shirt and I'm gonna show you um, a trick for that so just one second. all right so this is the pantyhose bandeau and sometimes I almost find that it almost gives even a little bit better support um, like I said I take the the bottom part of it like all of this extra fabric and tuck it underneath my bra to hold it in place so that it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to move anywhere and again you have all that security in the back because it covers so much of your back um, and keeps the line smoother um, but the one thing with this one is like like I said if let's say you're wearing a dress that you want to show more cleavage or you want something um, or you're wearing a top that um, that comes kind of like tapered down or a little bit more v-neck I have a trick for that um, so I'm gonna show you all right so this is almost as bad as showing visible bra straps right like this is this is another favorite top of mine that I like to wear in the summer and it's got a very pronounced like sweetheart neckline is it neckline or is it bust line or I don't know what it is it's kind of far from my neck but um, but anyway it's got this like deeper V and then of course you're seeing pantyhose right um, which isn't very attractive. So what I did to fix that, hold so on. So these are the only ones I could find right now, but we all have bought shirts and tops where, um, I guess you got those little like, like strings that are hanging in the armpit. Um, sometimes they're made out of this like weird plastic material, like these right here. A lot of times they're made, they're actually made out of like fabric, which actually works better. Um, but um, these were the only ones that I, I pulled these off a dress that I bought just the other day to show you guys. This is what you do. So I'm just going to take my top down a bit. So you take this and it, like I said, it's much better if you're using like one of them that's like fabric. And you basically go like this. Uh, I hope it doesn't rip on me. I think this might actually because it's really flimsy. And you basically just tie it in a bow. So you're basically going um, under your bra between your boobs and you're just tying this. I think this is gonna rip. I need to get a better one. But you just tie it and then you wanna, especially if you're using um, like a fabric material, you wanna tie it in a bow as opposed to tying it in a knot because if you tie it in a knot, your only option is to cut it out. Whereas if you, it's not working. I need to get a better one. All right, I got a better one to show you. So these are cloth, obviously, much easier to work with. So basically what you do is you take it and you like basically thread it between your chest. Then you gather the two ends and hopefully there's enough room. There should be. I mean, technically you wanna have them a little longer, but and you just tie them as tight as you can tie them. As I said, tie them in a, in a bow because then you can untie them again instead of cutting them out. This one's short, so honestly, I think I'm just gonna have to 
tie this one in a knot just for demonstration purposes. Um, but yeah, you just you tie it as tight as you possibly can. Um, and then you've got your, your dip. And then you just kind of play around with it. Like you've got this seaming because it is pantyhose, right? So you've got this seam going on, but you know, you just kind of play with it a little bit. Um, adjust as best as you can. Flip this so that your string is tucked in and nothing's gonna show. Um, and then you just put your top back on. And voila, no more pantyhose showing. I mean, it's not perfect. Um, but it does the trick. And again, it's still keeping you secure. It's still keeping you snug. It's still doing everything um, that you need it to do. And, um, and I find it works just great. Um, I don't know how original this all was. I don't know if this is uh, something that's been done before or if other people, have, I'm sure that other people have come up with this idea, but it's just, it's perfect. And like I said, I've, I've mentioned it before. I wear a 42 triple D. So, I mean, I don't have a small chest, but I don't, like, I'm, it works. And so I think it could definitely work for a lot of you out there. Um, and so if this was helpful at all, let me know. Cause um, I don't know. I've always been like, when I figured out how to do this, I was like, Damn, like really? Because I mean, you saw before. I mean, I had pantyhose going all the way up to here. And now, perfect. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this little like uh, tutorial slash DIY slash, I don't know, big girl or fat girl or big boob hack type video. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna call it or what I should call it, but I'll think about that. Um, but if you enjoyed it, make sure that you subscribe, um, like, comment, share this video. Um, and if you want to stick around for more, I'll be sure to um, probably um, share some more of these types of kind of hack type videos for plus size fashion related stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, I hope you're all having a great night and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.